Hi there, this video is going to show you how to crop and work with images in Adobe Illustrator. To bring an image into one of your designs, click on File, Place, and then choose the file that you want to place into your design. Go ahead and click on that. If it ends up being too large, you can zoom out by hitting Command minus, and then adjust the bounding box to make it smaller. Remember, if you hold down Shift when you adjust the bounding box, it'll keep it in proportion and then Command-0 or Command-plus to zoom back in. To crop the image, select the image, and then you'll notice at the top of the toolbar, you'll see a Crop Image little button. Um, when you click on that, you might get a dialog box um, giving you a warning that you're about to crop something. Just click OK. And then you'll see a preview where you can click and drag and pull the, the width and the height of that cropping box uh, where you want it. So you go ahead and click and drag it. And as soon as you're happy with it, you'll notice there's an Apply button at the top of your toolbar. And that will crop your image. Now you can click and move that around. Um, I'm going to show you another option of creating kind of a cutout around an image. So I'm going to go File Place again, choose a different image this time. It shows the whole giraffe. Once again, just kind of move it around, adjust the bounding box to get it to the right size. And for this image, I want to cut around the image of just, just the giraffe. I want to cut out the background. So I'm going to go ahead and, and choose my pen tool. You can use a pen tool, a brush tool, a pencil tool, anything that will make a path around the outline. Um, I change the, the stroke to a really bright color so I can see what I'm doing. And now I'm just clicking and dragging and trying to outline it the best I can. If I make mistakes here, it doesn't matter, just keep on going and you can always correct those anchor points later on. So I'll go ahead and stop here, speed up the video until I have a nice clean outline going all the way around. So as I'm making my way around, I eventually get to a, a closed path. So I make sure I click on where I, I my last click is exactly where I started. That's considered a closed path. Now I'm going into my outline of that path with the white arrow tool, which is the direct selection tool. I can double click on all those anchor points, and those handles, and move them around and clean up my selection um, until I get a nice outline around the, the body of the giraffe. So once again, I'll stop here and I'll speed up the video until I have a nice clean outline. As I'm finishing up, cleaning up all my anchor points with the direct selection tool, I finally get to the stage where I'm all done with it. And then I click on the switch. So I switch my outline to a fill at the bottom of my toolbar. And that will allow me to see just my whole outline. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select that outline. I'm going to hold down shift and also select on the image in the back. That way I have two things selected and then select Object, scroll down to Clipping Mask, and click on Make. Object, Clipping Mask, Make. And that will cut out that background. Let's just pause for a second. That was a lot, I'm sorry. That was a lot of steps. The main thing to focus on is to make sure you have your object selected, so whatever you just made your outline of, and the image selected before you hit and click on Object, Clipping Mask, make. If you need to go back and rewatch it, go back and rewatch it. Now I can edit that clipping mask by going object, clipping mask, edit contents, and that will allow you to move around that image in the background. Sometimes that's helpful, sometimes it's not. In this case it's not. Um, another thing I can do is I can double click on it to get to the point where I can see my outline again of that clipping mask. And then I can go back in and select my direct selection tool and click on anchor points and move those around. Um, so you can always still edit your clipping mask by moving anchor points around afterwards, which is really helpful. When I'm all done with that, then you can see I've got a nice clean cutout. I've got two different options. The one on the left, I use the cropping option. And the 
giraffe on the right, I use the clipping mask option. I hope this helped you uh, work with images in Illustrator. Uh, take care. If this video is helpful to you, please click on that like button. Let me know I'm doing a good job. Thank you.